enjoy going to coding lessons. This is the one thing that he really is passionate about. Hi, my name is Declan and I do robotics. I've made a bunch of different projects like a walking robot and a sorting robot, among others. So I was four years old when I first went to the boot camp, which my parents signed me up for. And that's kind of what fueled my desire to start doing coding because I found it extremely intriguing and fun. I recently went to the WRL competition in Turkey. Me and my friends stumbled upon the website and as such we decided to take part and then brainstorm ideas. Eventually we decided on the sorting bin. So how the machine works is it has an AI camera that scans the bottles which are placed inside the chamber and it sorts it based on what it looks like. There's also a weight sensor at the bottom to detect whether or not the object has liquid or other things inside and based on that it'll decide whether it's contaminated or recyclable or e-waste. This robot here is a walking robot. It could detect obstacles and change direction if there was something in front of it. So I think for this robot, I hope to maybe waterproof it to allow it to be able to explore underwater and on land. So I hope to be able to build robots that can help us explore the parts of the earth where our heart is. Yes, I am naturally inclined towards robotics, but I also think that anyone can pick up robotics because while it's similar to academics, there's really this part of you just creating new things, which is not part of the curriculum. I think robotics is something that he developed a passion for himself and therefore I think it brings quite a lot of joy. I think one of the things that actually we find that robotics has really helped him grow is he's actually learned to, I think, persevere in what he does. When he was young, he did a lot of building Tamiya cars and a lot of Lego building with my husband. Because I think I noticed that even within the robotics world, his favourite is actually the building part. Does Declan spend all his time coding? He doesn't actually. He's outdoors a lot. On the weekends, as a family, we make an effort either to go out to the beach or to go hiking. Uh, we try and find different trails all over Singapore. Um, our holidays are also very centred around being outdoors. So I would say he definitely doesn't spend all his time coding. Lah. The thing about robotics is that it's very time consuming. And when you're designing, you also have to be able to multitask. Because there's wiring, there's programming and there's building. Where the robot can easily fall apart if just one of them has minor issues. What advice do you have for those who also want to go into robotics that you think? I think that they need to know the commitment that comes from robotics. You have to be willing to put in the time to develop the robot because it really takes a lot of time to design and build a robot. I've considered not doing robotics once or twice in the last 10 years, especially for like primary 6, PSLE. In the end, I am glad I didn't because it's allowed me to achieve so many different things like winning the competition and it just kind of inspires me. If you were to develop this into a career, I think it would be more than supportive. I think it's important for him to do something that he's passionate about, something that he would look forward to going to work every day. Um, and that would be nice, right? So it's quite a good experience for me and it's quite encouraging. And I think that's what kept me coming back. <laughs>